back. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You look nervous. Well, it's going to be mine and Lindsay's fifth year anniversary since we started dating. I'm trying to plan a special evening for us. Five years? <laughs> Congrats! Are you proposing? Ha ha. Not at the moment. Oops, I need to get back to work. Have a good one, Cindy. You too! Wow, $10,000. That might be a bit rich for my blood, but maybe it's time to get saving. Oh well, time to move on to other things. That's weird. So, have you been thinking about getting hitched? Cindy, can you mind your own business? Well, I saw that WeddingRings.com and Tuxedo World started following you. That's strange. I checked a wedding ring website, and since then, I keep getting all these emails, texts, and now Twitter followers about wedding stuff. Did you have to create an account on the website you used? Yeah. And you read the website's privacy policy? No, I figured it wasn't a big deal. Well, just so you know, you should make sure to read the privacy policy next time. The site may have written in language to share your information, which is why you're getting those messages. Oh, I'd better go back and cancel that account before Lindsay starts seeing all these wedding ads. Uh-oh, Mr. Timmons wants to see me in his office. Well, good luck, and remember to read the fine print. Hi, Mac. I called you in my office to discuss something. What would that be, sir? I just want to remind you that while at work, it's important to stay focused on your job. We monitor everyone's internet activity, and I saw that you were doing some personal shopping today. Just make sure to save that for your lunch break and use your own device. Okay, don't worry, Mr. Timmons. It won't happen again. Alright, sounds good. Oh, and by the way, can I be invited to your wedding? 